Okay, but we're gonna go ahead and tackle the thermostat here and uh, try to get rid of that code that we have. So first, this sucker here just pops right out. And then what we're gonna have to do is loosen up this clamp. Just connect this hose here and pop this off. As soon as I find the clamps here. Ah, there they are. Near the fender. Let's pop them off. And this just pops up. Yep. And then we need a screwdriver for that. here you probably take that off all right so the thing should pop right out like so okay so now a little closer here is the Make sure you can see this. Here is the housing for the thermostat. Thermostat's gonna be connected there. Uh, we are gonna have to disconnect this clamp. Um, I did make up a, I cut off a catch can here to help with that. Hopefully it doesn't, this is in the top of the motor so there shouldn't be a ton of coolant um, that I have to worry about. That's famous last words. I guess you'll find out. But essentially, this comes off once the coolant's done. I'm going to set up my drain pan next to me just in case I have to quick uh, dump this out. But we'll we'll drain this out as much as we have to. And then I think it's two bolts there. That one might be kind of tricky. Let me see here. Uh, no, no, we should be okay. And then, uh, the new one I have is a new housing with the thermostat already in it with a new gasket. Just pops right back on, puts it back in, fill up the coolant, and we should be good to go. Good news is it's just spilling out at the bottom, it looks like. Now you really should replace these hoses. It's about time to replace these hoses. I don't have them on me right now, so I can't. But essentially I'll go back, replace this hose. There's a hose down the bottom whenever you do this and, and I don't have the coolant either. The coolant, you should use the five year, 100,000 mile coolant from Mopar. I tried finding equivalent. That's what's gonna be in the car now. If you were to completely flush it out, I guess maybe you had other options, but you really don't wanna mix different kinds of antifreeze. So, Alright, 
That's perfect because I didn't want to waste too much fluid. Looks like all we got about is all we got is about that much here. That's not bad at all. Um, yeah, it's like the hyper orange. I'll show you the container that I got. But we can go ahead and try to get this stump this in the pan here. Set this back down in here. Missed that one. I got some of it. Okay. All right. So there's the old housing, old thermostat, and for what I was gathering between the code. Uh, which was basically like the error code was basically uh, it, it was not reaching temperature or, or something along the lines of, of the thermostat is not getting the correct temperature um, which I doubt that I'm, it's more so the thermostats not um, reading the correct or it's not doing what it's supposed to do with the correct temperature um, which is remaining closed until uh, we get to a certain point and it's all mechanical it's not electronic so this is supposed to open up when the coolant gets to a certain temperature uh, you can ultimately to test one you can watch it do what it needs to do in a in a um, pot of boiling or continue boiling water when you when you put the thermostat in the water it should be closed and then when it reaches temperature it opens up um, so I'm guessing that this was stuck open, which is good because the engine will just not reach or will take a very long time to reach operating temperature. Whereas if it were to stick closed, which does happen, um, the, the engine won't get the cool uh, coolant, therefore not cooling the motor and you'll overheat the motor and the bad things happen when you do that. So, um, yeah, so we're going to get the new one here, compare the two. So essentially, like I said, it's the housing and looks like I'm missing the gasket. It's probably still on here, which it is there. Okay. So if this were sitting here, uh, essentially, they're exactly the same, which is what we want. So... Let's go ahead and put this new one on. Let's see how she does. Get some something to clean off that housing. A little bit of a close up what we're dealing with. There is still coolant in there. I guess it's just sitting lower than the hole is, so it's okay. Uh, it looks like plastic intake, it looks like. So, cleans up pretty easily. You just want to make sure there's no residue. I mean, it, it was a rubber gasket, it didn't break, but just kind of wipe it down a little bit. Make sure nothing's there. Let me take the new one. This piece here, um, this little rubber, rubber I'm guessing it's for the airbox. It maybe I don't know. The airbox goes here. I don't know what this is for, but that went up, so we're gonna leave it that way. And make sure our gasket's there, which it is. Set her inside. Start some bolts here. Does make it a lot easier. It's just a rubber gasket. Uh, you do want to make sure that 
especially in older cars, this isn't really too bad to have to worry about it, but in older cars, you want to make sure there's no debris. That's why I kind of wiped it down a little bit, because if it's if there's something in there, like somehow a piece of metal or something got stuck, um, and you tried to clamp down on this thermostat, uh, you would either crack the housing, which we have a new housing. In the older cars, you didn't get a new housing. I guess because it's all plastic, but um, you would crack something, whether it was the chances are it was the housing that you cracked and then you were stuck going to get new housing. So uh, make sure both sides are clean. Like I said, this one's not too bad. It's plastic, both sides, with a rubber, rubber gasket. And the majority of thermostats that I found, I went on Rock Auto, Rock Auto, you know, initially Rock Auto did not, you know, their prices were cheap, but the shipping would kind of outweigh the prices, especially if you went to somewhere like Advanced Auto Parts or AutoZone. Um, you know, it, it didn't make sense after shipping, especially if you were buying like calipers or brakes. But I'll tell you what, I bought, and I'm, I don't think I mentioned this when I did the calipers that I bought this thermostat and the uh, I keep saying calipers this thermostat and I bought the rotors and brake pads all from AutoZone or from Rock Auto and the um, shipping wasn't that bad actually I think Advanced Auto and AutoZone for their brand of calibers wanted somewhere in the neighborhood of $90 for one rotor, which uh, I think I got ended up getting AC Delco rotors for both sides uh, for 30 and then so, you know, between getting both rotors and shipping it ended up costing the same as one rotor from Advanced Auto. Now I know Advanced Auto has coupon codes and whatnot, but nothing. It didn't even come close. So I ended up buying everything through Rock Auto except for the um, antifreeze, which I ended up I had to get from Amazon. Uh, I didn't feel like going to Mopar or the Dodge. I didn't don't even know how much they would call, charge for that stuff. But I figured Amazon was usually fairly priced, so I need to stuck with Amazon. So I stuck the hose back on, trying to get this clamp on here. It's always a treat. Give a little leverage over here. You gotta try to get it on as straight as possible, or else it gets stuck. I do recommend if you are doing this or are planning to do it at this point. Um, hopefully you can get away with the old ones, but I do recommend getting new ones. If you're in the planning stages right now, just go ahead and buy them. Um, just makes sense. I'm an idiot. Should have did everything at once, but I'm also a lot of times under time constraints and things like that. Average Mike has kids, you know? And they have baseball and soccer and everything else under the sun. So that looks like it's on there. They actually put little endpoints for the hose so that you can kind of make sure that it's all the way on. This is far enough to where it's on there. Okay. I want to make sure this doesn't leak. So ultimately, I need to run it without the air stuff on that I took off. However, um, that plug is for a sensor that will probably throw a code. 
So you got to keep that in mind. Uh, but I can erase codes. So I think I'm going to start it here, make sure there's no leaks, make sure I keep up with the, I should probably put some more antifreeze in now. And then, and then uh, let's see if it, when, once it heats up, see if you get any leaks. Sorry. So this piece here is going to be, this thermostat's closed. So this coolant is hot. It's built up. We don't have any leaks, so that's good. Uh, I, I would think once the uh, once the thermostat opens, when it heats up, it'll allow this coolant to go through, and this should uh, loosen up or, or get a little easier to squeeze because uh, there's no pressure there. So yeah, it does not look like you have any leaks thus far. It's good. Our coolant level, I did fill up to the full line. I don't know if you can see that. Um, this here is the coolant that I use. This is again from my 2012 3.6 liter. You do have to check. Uh, but basically, the part numbers that I found for it, if you can see the part number there, uh, 680, but it matched up with the five year, uh, five year, like 60,000 mile coolant. They also have a 10 year, 100,000 mile coolant. And, but that part number is different. So, yeah. So we'll see once this warms up, see if we're good to go. All right, so I'm old schooling it now. My GoPro died, but basically uh, I got tired of waiting and I took off, I, I closed everything up, uh, drove it around, had to get up the temperature. We've confirmed that this opened up. Uh, it got up to operating temperature pretty quickly. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and clear the codes off camera and we'll see if anything comes up. But basically I just need to pop this all back on and should be it. Right, first piece on, just remember up here, you have a hose clamp here. Tighten that down, plug it back in your cable. Uh, right under here is where it pops in to kind of lock it in place. You got two clips down here. Uh, they slide in, it slides in down here and then it clamps down here. And then don't forget this hose here. And then all we need now is the top cover. All right, top cover on, we are good to go. Let's go inside here. Uh, Hi everybody, Glenn Mack and I'm here with Luke. Uh, turn this down. Let's look at our cones. Uh, let's see, diagnose, enter. Car is on. Okay, read codes. Read codes. And that's the code I was talking about. Coolant. Thermostat coolant temperature below thermostat regulating. So right away you would think, oh, there's something wrong with my engine, but no, it's it's the cool the thermostat is staying open, which is why it's below temperature because it's open. So number two is the air intake air temperature sensor, and that's because I ran it without that plug. So let's go back. Erase codes. Yeah. On, engine off. Okay, we're already there. It has been cleared. All right. So we'll turn this sucker back on. Make sure our check engine light is off, and it is. We are good to go. All right. All right, guys, thanks for watching the video. Uh, just remember that we are doing I keep mentioning it. We're not quite there yet. Uh, we're at 79 subscribers, 100 subscribers. We get, uh, we're, we're doing a giveaway, probably a live feed giveaway just to try it out. And probably nobody will hop on, but that's okay. Um, doesn't hurt trying. And we'll end up doing a, the live drawing. 
and the person who wins will get a uh, average mic t-shirt your choice of color your choice of color and the logo as well and yeah and then once we go to 200 we'll do the same thing so if you have not already please subscribe that way you can and, uh, be eligible for our drawing and also you'll you'll get up-to-date content with that s10 with other home improvement projects with my hx project with uh, uh my my brother is also talking about getting a jeep and that should be kind of fun doing some upgrades or repairs or whatever it is i, I know he's he's not buying a new jeep uh it's going to be probably in the 90s and uh it's just should be pretty cool that way it's cheap and we can we can do some cool upgrades to it so all right i'll uh catch you next time all right guys if you like what you saw please go ahead and smash that like button uh if you're not already subscribed go ahead and hit that too uh you can also turn on post notifications that way we put out a new video all right. it comes right up on your screen there see you guys on the next video